All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the sum of a finite geometric series uh, or sequence. And you know, so what it has is they give us the kind of first term. So here's like our a sub one, here's a sub two, and dot, dot, dot. And we're going to go all the way up to um, a sub 12. Now that's actually not the 12th term, but that's where we're going to go. We're going to go 12 terms. So to find the sum, we can do this two different ways. We can simply just add 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 54. Determine the ratio, determine what the next number is going to be, and then just keep on going all the way up till we add up 12 terms. Um, we also have this formula where it says a sub 1 times 1 minus your r, your ratio, raised to the number of terms, divided by 1 minus r. We can also use that. Um, and this is important to use, even though this might be simple on a calcul you know, just to do it with a calculator um, manually. But what if I do 122 terms? You're not going to want to use the manual. so. Let's go ahead and get used to um, working with our calculator. So first thing we need to do is figure out what r is, right? Now remember, r is just going to be the ratio of your first um, between any two terms of and its previous term. So in this case, I have 6 divided by 2, which equals 3. And my a sub 1 is equal to um, 2, because that's my first term. And n equals 12. All right, very good. So now let's just plug in the information that we have into our formula. So s of the sum of 12 terms is equal to 2 times 1 minus my r, which is 3, raised to the 12th power, divided by 1 minus my r, which is 3. All right, so we have one, pro we have one number that's not going to be very fun to do, um, which is going to be 3 raised to the 12th power. <sighs> So here I have s equals 2. Okay. 2 times 1 minus 531,441 divided by 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Now I can simply just go ahead and um, solve the rest of this. So I can just simplify 1 minus that is um, obviously going to be the negative. Um, and then divide, divide my top, which would be negative you know, 4, 0. Divide, divide that by negative 2, which will make it now positive. And I'll just write it in there to make sure that you guys have the same answer I have. So when I take 1 minus 531,441, I get uh, negative um, 531,440. Divide that by negative 2, and I get this number. And then when I multiply that by 2, oh, I'm an idiot. These 2's divide out into 1. Jeez, oh man. So my final answer is a positive 531,440. Sorry about that. I didn't even notice. But yeah, you can just multiply this through. The negatives to cancel out, so that's why it becomes positive, but that's your sum. That does always work that way. Um, I just caught it at too late. So, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the sum for this geometric sequence um, given 12 terms. Thanks.